What's going on, everybody? So right off the bat, you're probably wondering, oh my god, why is his face neon pink and it matches his shirt? Well, in case you missed the last video, I was on vacation and I got a serious sunburn. So there, now you know why my face is pink. But anyway, uh, today's video is going to be uh, a video about a huge change that I'm making to the tank. And I'm changing salt. That's the huge change. I've been using reef crystals uh, for three and a half years. And I'm going to be making the change to the Fritz Blue Box salt, which is the Reef Pro Mix, or RPM. My video is going to be a little bit different than your standard salt mixing video. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be testing the water parameters in my tank before the water change. I'm going to be testing the water parameters of the freshly mixing batch of Fritz. And then we're going to wait a couple hours after I do my water change. And then I'm going to test the water parameters in the tank um, to see what this salt has brought the levels to compared to what they were before the water change. I'm going to be using the Salifert test kit. I'm going to be testing alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, and I'm going to be testing phosphate of the freshly mixing batch. So stay tuned. All right, so this is the water from the tank upstairs um, before the water change. So let's test the alkalinity, the calcium, and the magnesium. All right, so in case you were wondering, to use the Salifert kit for the alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium, in real time, that took exactly eight minutes and 10 seconds. But anyway, so let's get to the display tank before water change. Um, I did test it, it's 1.026 for the salinity, and the alkalinity came out to 7.3, calcium is at 450, and the magnesium is at 1350. Again, I was away on vacation and I didn't get the proper milliliters per dosing because I didn't have enough time. Um, so the alkalinity is a little low, calcium is a little bit higher than normal, but I like a high calcium. So now what we're gonna do is um, I'm going to test the freshly mixing batch of the Fritz RPM. I'm not gonna bore you with showing you all this again. I'm just gonna pause it here, test it, and we'll look at the results of that. Again, this batch here is at 1.026 for salinity as well. All right, so I just got done with the Fritz RPM mixing batch results. And the results are the alkalinity came out to 9.45, the calcium is 470, the mag is 1455, and the phosphate was 0, 0.00 at 1.026 salinity. Um, I'm happy with everything except for the alk. I was hoping that it was gonna be between eight and nine. 9.45 isn't bad. But um, I originally got it because I heard that the results were between 8 and 9. But you never know. We'll see with the next batch. We'll see if it's that kind of salt where it mixes differently every time. I don't know. So for now, this is the Fritz RPM mixing batch. Now let's do this water change. Like I said, give it a few hours and uh, see what the results are afterwards. All right, and the results are in. So... The display tank after the water change is now 7.7 .7 alkalinity, 450 calcium, and mag is 1350. So my alk raised 0.4 with a 10 gallon water change. I did right here at the bottom. I have exact, just about exactly 65 gallons total water volume, and I did a 10 gallon water change. So with that 10 gallon water change, did bring my alk up just a little bit, which is really good which shows me, it gives me about a range of, so now if I do want to do a 15 gallon water change, you know, what's that going to give me? When I do a 15 gallon water change, I'm going to do the same thing all over again. So again, that is it for the um, parameters before 
during mix and after. So the question is, am I gonna continue to use the Fritz RPM salt? Of course, I did buy a box and I don't have any other salt in the basement. So um, I can tell you a couple things. I was very happy with how fast it cleared up. When I added the salt to the 10 gallons of RO water, literally within five minutes, it was crystal clear. So that to me is a plus. Also the mix, like I said, I thought it was gonna be, be between eight and nine for the alkalinity, and it was uh, almost 9.5, but that's a lot better than the reef crystals that I've been using that mixes at around 10.5 to 11 for the alkalinity. So with this salt, um, you know, I'm gonna continue to test it while the batch mixes uh, before I add it to the tank. So this way for future, I kind of have a better idea. Now again, each box is most likely gonna be different from the next. Um, but at least with this salt, I can do bigger water changes and not worry about my alkalinity going through the roof. Um, and the coils upstairs seem to uh, be just fine. They didn't um, shrink, they didn't get any bigger, they're not irritated, so that to me is also a plus. Um, and you know, keep an eye on it on the tank. So probably what I'm gonna do is, I'm probably gonna do 10 gallon weekly water changes for the first month, and then I might jump it up to 15 gallons a week um, until this box is gone before I do a total, uh, I guess, review on it. So. It may take me a couple months to use this box up, but I'm gonna do more, more water changes than I have been doing with the old salt, um, mainly because you know the alkalinity on this mix is lower. So it's gonna give me a little bit easier of a, a leeway or a swing or whatever on um, mixing the batches. So that's it for my uh, you know, Fritz RPM video, I guess you could say. Uh, until next time, uh, the next video will actually be 100% is going to be me building um, the new mini anemone tank for somebody. I'm going to be doing the um, very beginning of the stand build, uh, including painting it, everything I use to paint it, how I put it together, this and that. Also going to be drilling the tank, installing an overflow, and um, that'll be the next video. I'm probably going to try and squeeze it into a single one part video um just gonna do my normal thing where if it's a boring part i might just fast forward right through it but anyway um so hope this guy hope this video helped you guys uh until next time i will see you guys later